Now, the end of Christmas festivities has opened a chapter that most parents dread the most. That time of the year when parents have to put all stops to find money for back to school shopping. Well, despite it being a Saturday, parents and guardians came out in large numbers to shop in anticipation for the reopening of schools. However, many were left scratching their heads over the high cost of school items and anticipated fees. We secured this copy of a sales receipt from one of the parents who had just shopped for school items from one of the outlets in the city. She had already spent over 28,000 shillings. Mind you, this does not include school fees for her two children still in primary school. In one of the bookshops on Latema Road in Nairobi, we caught up with other parents and their lamentations on the high cost of sending students to school remained the same. A parent explains. Caro imepanda sana. Imepanda, imepanda by almost 50% from last year's. Kijaribu basari, CDF, watu ni wengi, ata haisaidi sana. For Catherine Murioki, having a child in lower primary school has not made matters any easier. Her class 2 shopping is just as costly as the rest. You're paying like over 15,000 and it's in class 2. Uh, the cost of books, it's also high too. <laughs> I've already bought and it's over 7,000 now and I'm not yet done. So, yeah, things are tough. Dennis Wekesa also resorted to early back-to-school shopping, hoping that things will be a bit cheaper. It turns out he was mistaken. Uh, last year was a bit, but this year is an improvement because I, I, was, I was told that you know and tap a discount. Like in Sijana is expensive. In other towns such as Eldoret, parents were forced to swallow the same bitter back to school expenses pill. And no option remained apart from digging deeper into their pockets to guarantee their children an education. So tunaomba kama serikali wanaweza kutusaidia especially kwa upande wa fee. Kwa sababu ukiangalia maneno ya uniform na kadhalika hiyo ni kawaida lakini mambo ya fee watusaidie kutupunguzia ikwe iende chini kidogo. Holiday festivities are now over and for most parents it is time for back to school shopping. However, the anticipated rise in the cost of educational material and school fees might mean a very long January for most parents. Mark Namaswa, KTN News.